I don't think there's anything else that comes close to what Parity are doing and how far forward they thought of the problems that a blockchain builder is going to face. So it, it's really, if you, if you start with Par Parity as a substrate, you're just going to move forward very quickly. Well, Substrate kind of lets us do most of the things we'd want right out of the box, so it was a natural decision to choose Substrate. Um, it was small and contained, so developing on it was fairly straightforward. Um, you know, it, it took much less time to learn the innards of Substrate and how to mess with the runtime than it would for, say, Ethereum. So it was a natural uh, decision, you know, to support something that was easy for us to adopt. So when we started this project, it was uh, last year, October, uh, we started uh, with the development and uh, we were first thinking about building the whole thing on Ethereum, smart contracts and, and etc. Uh, but we kind of realized that we wouldn't be able to control the gas costs and, and we wouldn't have so much independence of uh, uh, mm, deciding and implementing uh, various aspects of the whole system as, as much as we would like to. I think what's interesting to understand is that um, when, you, when you make a blockchain, when you write a blockchain, there are lots of things you keep on redoing. We saw that in the past, most of the projects are copy-pasting or forking existing blockchains, making small little changes in there and, and hoping for the best. Um, it's a way to do that, probably not the cleanest way to do. Um, so the option here from Parity Tech was to say, we're going to take all the building blocks of a blockchain, we're not going to put that in Polkadot, we're going to put that in library that we can call Substrate, which we're going to be using actually in, in the project um, called Polkadot. So it's, it's very interesting because it allows people to really get started with blockchain projects in no time. You don't need to take care of that. Um, I really challenge anyone to make today a blockchain project from, from scratch actually within a day, for example. Uh, that's, that's very challenging, especially if you want to take security into account. And I think that's what you get up to a certain extent with Substrate and uh, thanks to Rust as well. Um, so I think that makes it a very good choice to get started. As a team, it's been interesting because it allows us to, you know, uh, experiment with a lot of different ideas and decide in a non-traditional manner how we would want to build this chain, which traditionally in this ecosystem is seems like a big task for most teams. So we get to, you know, depend on a lot of the work that Parity has done so far and focus on some of the things that we were more interested in. Before the substrate, we have to adjust our idea to the blockchain because of some limitation, like a scalability, like a, uh, privacy and so on. With substrate, we can decide, yeah, we can customize the own chain and we can decide whether we need a token or not whether we need a contract or not, uh, and also consensus algorithm. It depends on your use case. So this is why I do like a substrate, and I do recommend you to build something meaningful with substrate.